Today we're looking at a 15th century book of ours, and we're asking it the question. Why is so much of you missing? So our question we want to ask the manuscript today is about what's missing. So Heather, could you tell us a little bit about what's there? Sure. This is a book of ours, and it's likely from the 15th century, mm -hmm. later part of the 15th century. It was likely made in Paris, and they were a source of daily devotion and prayer. And in the 15th century, everyone who was anyone had a book of hours, and that's why we've got so many that survive today. So what makes a book of hours? What sort of things would we expect to see? Well, a book of hours actually follows a pretty standard structure, and oftentimes it would start with a calendar like this one, and then it would be followed by some gospel readings from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, not in that order. Um, but the very most important part of the book of hours would be the prayers to the Virgin Mary. Were they all the same? Uh, no, actually. There was a high degree of variation depending on who it was made for and how much they wanted to spend. So, for example, you could order a lot of illuminations mm -hmm. or not. You could order gold leaf in your capitals or not. You could even order which saints you wanted to have written in your book of hours so that you could pray to them specifically. We know a lot about books of hours, but yep. this book of hours seems to be asking us a really obvious question. I know. Why do you have so many parts missing? So what can this manuscript tell us about what's missing? It can at least tell us where things are missing, and things are missing in three different kinds of places. For example, we have whole pages missing. Like here, you can see there's this off print or shadow, and that is reflected in this page here. So you can see that there's no pages missing because the shadow matches the opposing page, right? However, what's really interesting is back here then, oh. you can see that there's a shadow, but there's no opposite to it. So you know that there was a page right here, mm -hmm. and that entire page is missing now. And then, second, it's got parts missing that are holes oh. inside pages. I know. And here you can see that they've been cut very cleanly. There was something in there that was taken out that was more than just the text because the text still remains. It hurts my heart. I know. And then here you've got things, you've got parts taken out of the page, but it's not as quite as uh, careful. They seem to be taking out larger parts. They don't seem to care about the text, etc., etc. Yeah, they just chopped out pieces right from the middle of the page. I know. Bit. And then there's a third type of missing part, and that happens to be the margins. Mm hmm. Okay, so that's particularly evident. In oh, the yeah. calendar here, you've got entire bottom margins, and in some places, you've got the margin along the side as well that's missing. Mm -hmm. It's just been cut out. But what's really interesting is this page. For some reason, it's just got slivers of the margin cut out. Yeah, it's just slightly smaller than the entire rest of the book. So maybe with some research, we'll be able to figure out more about what's missing? Yes, I think if we can look at where something's missing, we can probably figure out what is missing. So what does the research tell about the pages that are missing? Well, it looks like we've got 16 pages missing, 16 whole 16. pages missing. And they're pages like these. If you look here, you can see there's a shadow. Mm -hmm. So we know that the facing page was probably some kind of an image mm -hmm. because you see the frame up there at the top. Yeah, that was yeah. the frame of an image. Okay. Okay. So then we look to what's around it to figure out where it was in terms of the structure of the book. And this text is the very beginning of the Hours of the Cross. Okay. And so we would imagine that the facing page actually had an illustration, and for this book it was often a crucifixion. Luckily, we have another one in our collection. And there it is. We can see which image is missing from this book. It's the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. And in this one it's a crucifixion too. Yep. 
And so the 16 pages missing from our lovely book of hours here, they all had gorgeous illuminations on them. 16 of them missing. 16. But there's one left. I know. Look. There's just the one that we have at the beginning. Isn't that strange? That is strange. We're going to get to it later. So what about these pages where something is cut right out of the middle of the page? Right. And that's a little bit harder mm -hmm. because we've not got any shadows to help us understand that there's anything mm -hmm. in particular missing. But we do have the text. So the text, for example, here in the Gospel readings, it's all there. Oh. So what could be missing? Well, if you look at other books and other books of ours, you're going to see that sometimes there's an image of the evangelist that prefaces the actual text or the actual gospel reading. And that's what's happening here. This says, Luke, this would have been Luke's image. And the picture of Luke is right. gone. And here we have Matthew, and Matthew would have gone right here at the beginning of the text. And he's gone. Yep. But this one is much bigger. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you ask, you have to ask why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start to look at its position and what's around it again, and you start to see that on this page, it would have been the image of St. John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. By this time, you're into the prayer that would have been attributed to St. Christopher. Okay. So on this side, on the left, we would have had St. John the oh. Baptist, and on this side, in the same position, we would have had St. Christopher. So there's an image on both sides of the page. And they're taking and they cut out, out a much bigger the piece. The entire thing. Mm -hmm. So what have we got missing again? Images. Images again. Mm -hmm. What about the pieces at the beginning that are cut out? Okay, so you mean the margins, right? Yeah. In the margins, they are all dealing with the calendar, which is right at the beginning of this book. And you can see here the calendar for each page, there is a different month, mm -hmm. and it's in gold lettering. And we can see when we look at the text that, again, the entire text is there, so we can only assume that what's missing here are the images. And again, it was often the case in books of ours for the calendars uh, to have two images at the bottom or in the margins. One of the images would have reflected the labor of the month. So for example, in June, you might have had someone harvesting a field. Oh. And one of the images was probably the astrological sign for that month. And for June, it would have been a crab for cancer. So once again, it's always the images, the illuminated illustrations that are missing. It's the images. It's the beautiful colored images that are missing. So why would that be? Why would all the illustrations be gone? Because the illustrations were incredibly valuable. Mm. And I think someone at some point in the history of this book decided that they could make more money if they were to cut out all of the gorgeous illuminations and sell them individually on the market as opposed to leaving them in the book and selling the book as a whole. But then why is there still one full page illustration left and only one? A student who was here at the University of Iowa in the 1980s, Cornelia Kennedy, she did an MA thesis about this book of ours, and she had the exact same question. Her thoughts were that they actually took out this image. Okay. Originally, they were going to sell it on its own on the market, but then they decided that without it, the book would never sell. Mm -hmm. So after having cut it down, taking it out, and deciding to sell it, they decided to put it back in. They put one back in to leave with the rest of the pages. So that the book would actually sell. It actually is tipped in. It's not part of the original choir or gathering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's been taken out and put back in. Okay. So what we've got here is a book with missing images. <laughs>